Hello everybody. I am here today to show you my journals that I've been working on on and off for probably a year now. Uh, these are my cottage journals. I originally started them um, last early last year and I had come across a post on Facebook and it had an image of some lovely little uh, cottages that somebody had made using fabric scraps. I think it was a Pinterest image, to be honest, but I saw that in a group called, I think, the Rag Bag Gals or something like that. Anyway, that's where I was originally inspired to start these cottage journals. It was originally meant to be one journal, but the signatures got a little bit big, so I decided to split it into three and make three very similar journals they're not all exactly the same and that's mainly because it was meant to be three signatures so they're not identical but they have similar items in them so what I will do is I will show you one of them and then quickly flick through the other two um, they are only small journals I mean not size wise the size is about six and a half by nine inches but page wise I think they're around 70 pages in each one with pockets and tucks and things like that so what I will do is I will just put those to the side for the time being so they have a fabric cover and I do have some um, tutorials on things that I made for this journal and I'll link that there's I think a there might be a playlist on it and I got right up until about putting the cover on and then they got put to the side and so I finally finished them. The cover is a mixture of fabrics, trims, laces. This is actually a piece, it was a cushion cover that I cut up and put on. It's got a bit of a doily there. They are stitched together. It's kind of a, a soft cover. Um, a little bit of daisy chain with a vintage button there and I have just wrapped around a bit of seam binding and they're not really necessary but I do realize as people use their journals they fill them up and that's when it may be more necessary on the front here also I've just got some cardboard that I have kind of given a whitewash effect and then I've just done a little slow stitch cottage on the front keep it nice and flat and easy to write in and it is a writing journal so there's lots of room to write in it so we start off the inside is also covered by fabric the way I made the cover is I have two pieces uh, how did I make it <laughs> the front part is all fabric the inside cover is made from a cereal box I had a piece of fabric slightly larger about an inch larger than that all the way around and then I folded it over and I clipped it and I zigzagged it to the outer cover I did put a strip of Tyvek down the center just to help with the stitch binding it is a one signature journal and as you can see on the outside you can see my stitches it has a pan uh, it has a pamphlet stitch holding it all together, which is actually double to make it stronger. Okay, so we have a pocket in the front. The pocket is made out of a cereal bag with some uh, pianola paper inside. I have wrapped a piece of this beautiful cross stitch doily over it and stitched this little piece of doily in the corner here. You can sort of see a bit of hand stitching along there. I have a little doily here that can quite easily come apart. The button is just tied on there to use in the journal somewhere. And I've put a number one. That's mainly for my reference. So I know that this is journal number one. I will leave this in here though. So that can be used if you want to use it. And that's just pinned on there. In the first pocket I have a uh, a brown paper bag it has it is a gusseted bag and it's been embossed and I've just tucked in a little collage tag I have a beachside cottages aren't they lovely and these are some images I found out thrifting they're actually 
photographs and they were for a gallery exhibition um, that weren't needed anymore. So I I purchased them. I mean, they were very cheap and there were a few different types of photos, but I thought the cottages would be lovely in this particular journal. And then there's a sheet out of a, a herbal or an orchid book, to be honest. That's what that was, an orchid book. So they're tucked in the front like that. And then in the pocket, I have, I have two lovely doilies and I have a piece of blue note paper that's just been folded in half so the book does have a lot of blue in it um, it just I don't know what my thoughts were at the time perhaps I was thinking beach cottages more than country cottages so it it ended up being quite blue um, I like blue and I know a lot of other people do like blue I don't tend to use blue a lot in my crafting but I, I do like blue in general Okay, let's get that back in. I'm trying not to take too much of your time. So that goes in there. And then we start on our first signature. We have a collage. And this is the one of the original cottages I made. Just made it into a little picture scene. And in there we have a tag. And I've put this lovely fibre coming out of the top. It reminds me of like a, a bit of smoke coming out of a chimney or something like that and some collage papers I honestly I think there's a lot of Kayser craft papers in this journal um, there's cutouts from various garden books as well and the butterflies I'm quite sure may come from Kayser craft we have a collage tag here and over the months I kind of made different things to go in it so you know although I made these tags here at one time I made these at another so they're a little bit different which I quite like that it gives it a nice um, bit of interest there's some lovely uh, pocket there and that is a um, napkin decoupage pocket with some tatting on it. I made these lovely little tabs. See how they're see-through? And I can't remember who it was that I was inspired by. It will say it in the video where I showed them, but I just I can't remember off the top of my head where that idea came from. Um, just a die cut. Now I have one of these photo page inserts here and I've just got a couple of different scorecards in that pocket and in this pocket here I have I have two little index cards that I've cut to look like little files I have two envelopes one is a airmail envelope the other one is a pocket envelope with a clear front and I've just put a snippet collage piece in there and I've I've made those a long time ago they're just a, a easy collage they've got fabric on the back so they're very easy to glue into your journal if you want to use it so I'll just pop that in there lovely rose and that is the um, Queen of Craft stickers they're so pretty I've done lots of stitching on the pages there's a cutout from a garden book we have a little cottage tag here just to write on the back it's just simply made out of a file folder the pocket is cereal bag with this it's really it's like a raffia kind of trim and then I've just put Rick rack and flowers along there and just reinforce the side of that page a little bit as well have an envelope on this side to put things in and you can journal behind it there we have a butterfly on this side a little um, paper clip inspired by Debbie who is crafty stuff on YouTube uh, we have some of the stamps from cleaner craft as well and sticker pieces then I have a wax paper insert and that has some samples of pretty washi tape on there so you can 
quite easily take the washi tape off and decorate the journal with it. Just a decorated page. And then we have just a, a page that opens like that and you can journal inside and close it. A little corner tuck here with a doily, little tag there and two tags here. So it, it, it has like three little spots for your tags there and some collage work. Another stamp, some more collage. And some music paper with a um, garden book cut out. Beautiful wallpaper piece here from Rena with washi tape and some more butterflies. And yet again, another tag made at a different time once again. And that goes in there. Like that with some sari. Sari silk on that one. And that's... Oh, that is from, I found this the other day, Witchcraft Do You Do? That's the antique linen, sari silk. And then a piece of paper. Just some more butterflies here. And these are just off cuts of the papers I was using. And I've used the little, um, the you know, the decorative scissors and gone around it, just like fabric samples in a book, but they're paper samples. Just more little flowers and a die cut. This is the photo album glycine paper, more stitching in the centre here. And I have left long tails on here. There's four tails. I didn't trim them. Uh, so you can put beads on them or decorate them any way you like. But I've left them, you know, so they hang out the bottom of the page a little bit as well. Just some daisies and some threads that I've had hanging around. A stamp, another pocket here, using some of this glycine paper offcuts and some stitching and another lovely tag using Kaiser Craft paper. No. I love that paper, it's so pretty. More paper, just a die cut there. And then these little um, paper clips here are inspired by Eva or Eva from Bohemian Crafting. She was doing these not long ago. Uh, I did them a little bit different. I just used a die cut like and folded it in half. But I did, I didn't fold it directly in half because I could see that Eva, Eva was having difficulty getting it on the page. So what I've done is I've just left one longer than the other. So when it comes time to put it on the page, it's much easier because there's something, um, you know, it's just easier. And I've just used some lovely beads. That one's from BB Craft. And these little charms here are actually from Michelle, I think Michelle Hodge. It's so pretty. Um, and then just a little bit of collage on the top there. And on the other side, a doily piece with some string from Queen of Craft. And I also have Queen of Craft, the, um, some of the washi tape underneath it as well. This little collage. Another lovely die cut there. And I think that is also from Queen of Craft. Some of these things I did as design projects along the way. So that always makes it um, nice. So another cut out. This is a lovely image I got thrifting. I got a few, uh, two or three of them, so I've used them because they're old buildings. I think they were like brochures, information brochures for a particular town or something like that. But I've just backed them and I've attached them to that little hangover piece there. And then I've left a little gap. And in the back there, I've just put a couple of little journal tabs that you can journal on in there and once again the washi tape from the Queen of Craft and this is not a design project I just you know if anybody's interested that's where I got it from so there's some more collage some ripped paper pieces on there once again another opening some more different washi tapes on this side a lovely little collage there of fabrics a butterfly, another sticker, and some sari silk just runched down the side there. 
another little pocket there with a couple of tags and I don't know where I got these images like I said it's been on the go for a while now and in the front there I think Butterfly. the other side of the photograph album insert and I've just got a pay envelope in that one some of the doily piece in there I have the correspondence course paper piece of that in there I just thought that might be nice to either journal on the back of or rip up and use in collages and things like that I have a time card there and then just a piece of uh, what is it called you know coloring in pages and it's all been tea dyed as tea stained as well so Put that back in there. A sticker. Opens up. A little paper bag with a lovely image out of a gardening book once again. And this was out of a different gardening book and it's got this lovely stone cottage on it and I thought that was quite appropriate. So that goes in there. Oops. A little journal spot on the back collaged paper, a couple of tags in the back here as well, just goes in that, in there, and then on the back cover we have the same sort of concept as the front, you know, the piano, pian, pianola paper with the cereal bag and the doily, lovely little hydrangea flower that I've got a, um, a flower stitch to, and then tags I recently made using that same paper, the correspondence course paper and some stickers. It was a, This one was a Queen of Craft project. Um, so that goes in there and then these little bags and I've made these a few times and this is made out of cereal bag, a little bit of that same correspondence paper and I've just put a few cutouts and things like that in there and that's just held together by a paper clip. Um, I, um, I was, I recall, I was inspired to make these sorts of things uh, by Lacey. Oh, what? Rib ribbons, laces and pearls, something like that. Lacey Col Colio, I think it is, um, on YouTube and Instagram. On Instagram, I saw she had something, and it wasn't like this. It was something... And I can't remember what it looked like, but I know I kind of adapted it a little bit and made this, but it was a while ago now anyway. Um, but anyway, a lovely little embroidered heart on the front there as well. And then we have the back of the journal there. And what I will do now is quickly flick through. And if there's anything different in the other two, I'll, I'll talk about it. But if you know, if there's not, I won't. So that's journal number one. This one is journal number two. As you can see, they're very similar, but the little houses are different on the front. Slightly different, so. And the buttons are different. And so, that, so that's the front. It's got the same sorts of things. That is a different photo. This one's actually a postcard. Cleveland Shopping Centre, early 1930s, Shaw Street, Queensland, Australia. The Grand View Hotel. So that's rather nice, isn't it? So that one goes in there, but other than that, everything else is the same sort of thing. There's the little pocket behind the cottage. Make sure I'm in, in shot of the camera quite large so I had to make sure I had the camera back far enough. Uh, this one has a CD in an, a CD case um, pocket in it whereas the other two don't. So it's just a journal spot there. A little collage at the back. goes in there like that. But all these are the same sort of 
similar. They're not exactly the same because they're using different pictures and things like that. It's got a little pocket there for journaling on. Beautiful um, charm, once again, from Michelle. Beautiful. I love that one. It's so sparkly. Another paper clip. This one has this. This is a lovely picture I was sent in, if I recall, from Julia. And I hope I'm correct there. And I just shrunk it down. Um, lovely envelope. And that's just a little pocket in there. Two little tags. another one of those images I found thrifting it's a ferry with oh, all the little cars and things on but it's so it's nice isn't it it's just very very nice there's a couple of handmade paper hearts to journal on in the center there that looks like a pocket, but it's not a pocket. And that's the other side of the bag. If you want to very carefully just trim down the edge, you could make that into a pocket. And that's just a mag... Uh, no, it's not magnetised. It's just one of those hidden paper clips that I've popped there. With just a piece of paper cut, a die cut. Like a little cottage there. A wallpaper border that one they're lovely and I love this fabric isn't it pretty and a little Just end cuts of papers I've popped in there, little tuck spot, and that's a little tag that was sent to me. It had a lovely necklace on it from Zephy quite a few years ago, and I thought it was time to use that, so I've made a tuck spot out of that. Colours went nicely in this book. Once again, the same sorts of things in here. collage on the back and little um, things in that baggie there as well. So that one is, let me make sure, journal number two. This one is slightly different. It has an extra patch on the back. That's because once I finished it, uh, this piece looked way too crooked. So I just wanted to cover it a bit. So that's why that's on there. <sighs> because there's nothing I could do about it once the book was together, unfortunately. Um, but it's not meant to be perfect. The books are not meant to be perfect. They're just for fun. You know, they're not pristine. They're um, a little bit shabby. So same sort of things here. And we have another image here. This is not a photograph. It is a photograph. It doesn't look like one, does it? Maybe it's a photograph of a painting or something. But it's rather lovely. 
but I bought it in that same um, photographic display pack. So there we go, another little tag in there. And this one has that little stone cottage in it. Oh, I love that. Same sorts of things there. Another little, this one's another little charm, so pretty. I wonder which one I took, pulled out, that one. That one's lovely, it's got a bit of tool over the top of it. Another corner paper clip. A little tag in there. A cottage there. This one has um, the ends of the photographic photo album insert. I thought, you know, you could rip that a bit and use it in a bit of decoration. It's just, they were a bit long for the journals, so I decided to just cut the ends off. But we don't need to waste them. <laughs> Lovely tags in here, a little one there, and that just flips up and you can write on there as well. Back, a little tag in there, and it's just a plain tag. Once again, the back page with some little goodies in there as well. And so that is journal number three. And I'm so glad that I finished them because that's another unfinished project that I can tick off my list and put all the bits away because you know what it's like you put them to one side and then all the little bags of like that was put with them and you know a few other things so you can continue on with them um, but then you can't use them for other things because they've been put to the side so there we go journal three two and journal one and my little cottage journals um, just a really nice sized journal. I hope you like them. I'm so glad I'm finished and I'm about to start another journal which is a pretty journal. <laughs> it's going to be colourful and pretty. Um, so that's quite exciting, different to these ones. So take care everybody and I will put the link to my Etsy store because these will be for sale. Um, not I'm not asking too much because they're only small 
you know, one signature journals. That being said, I'm very proud of myself that they're only small in that regard. Usually they end up like that and that gets expensive to ship and it just, you know, they get big. So I'm quite happy with the size of these. I love the size of them this like that and I love them the size like that as well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Take care. Bye.